Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to add new WhatsApp message templates within Watermate platform and also how to access WhatsApp Business Manager and add templates over there as well. Let's dive into the demo. In order to add a new WhatsApp template within Watermate platform, navigate to the integration section and click on the edit setup within WhatsApp. Hope you would have already set up the WhatsApp Cloud API. And if you have not set up, please watch the other video to set it up. And once you have set up, then you can get in here and access the message templates section. And here you can click on add new template. You can give it a name. The template that I want to create as part of this demo is class booking confirmation. So I'm going to call it as just a note here. The template name cannot have spaces or capital letters. By default, it will replace the capital letter with small case letters and also spaces with underscores. This is just for your information. And the next thing that we want to do is set up the right category. We have three categories available. Utility is when you are sending notifications as part of your business process. Let's say, you know, if it's a class booking confirmation or appointment confirmation, these are utility messages. These fall under utility messages. In the instance, you want to send some marketing content, um, like you want to send some marketing campaign, you can send some promotional information in your message. Those fall under marketing category. Facebook will be reviewing your message templates. And if your message contains any aspect of marketing content, it will automatically change the category to marketing as there are different prices associated with each of the message data structures. For class booking confirmation, since it's going to be utility, I'm going to select that. The last one, authentication is, let's say you want to verify um, a user as part of proof factor authentication or send OTP for whatever reason, those kind of messages fall under authentication as such. I'm just going to select utility. This is where I have the ability to select the header. We can send different types of header. Uh, this is this section forms the body of the message. Yeah. Um, so I, I have the option. This is optional as well. I have the option to select the header type. I can select text and put in my message. And if you'd like to add images, you can do so as well. And here I'm going to do add the message and I want to personalize the message. When someone books an appointment, I want to personalize the message to them using their client name and the class they booked for. So in order to personalize a message, I can use the variable. When I click on this add variable, it will insert a variable in here. And it will also add a field called sample value. You need to provide the sample value because every message template that you are submitting it will be approved by meta and meta requires the sample values for them to review and approve the message template. so i'm going to call this sample value as john doe i have prepared a message um, for booking confirmation i'm just going to copy that i've copied the message that i've prepared earlier um, as you can see the message has uh, several other personalization variables Let's just take a minute to understand the message. Um, so this is just, uh, you know, um, telling the customer that the class booking has been confirmed and we've got a uh, few personalization variable about the classes. And um, yeah, let's add in this one. This will be class.name. So in this instance, let's call it a yoga class on, this will be the date. Let's put as, uh, these are sample values. March 2023. I want to give a time as well. And if you would like to add footer, um, that's again optional. If you'd like to add, you can add that just adds a footer text to the message. And if you would like to add buttons, that is also possible interactive messages so you can add a button that says quick reply and maybe talk to our staff let's say in in this in this um, use case when we send a confirmation message and if they have any questions they can click on that the chat will be transferred to your email page as well 
finally I'm just reviewing I'm happy with everything and I'm gonna click on save okay now it's in pending status once it's approved it will automatically change to approved status as we are listening to the webhook and the webhook will notify us if there is any changes in the status as such and if you'd like to refresh immediately you can also click here to see to refresh the template from whatsapp as well now that i refreshed it is approved this template is ready the next thing we want to do is look at how to access the templates using whatsapp business manager and add new templates or edit templates from there as well in order to access whatsapp business manager first log into business suite from meta using the url business.facebook.com once you log in select the right business go to settings and go to business settings this will by default select the business go to whatsapp accounts select the right whatsapp account if you just have one whatsapp account that will be the only one that gets displayed in my instance i have several other whatsapp accounts so that's why it's displaying multiple accounts go to settings and click on whatsapp manager once you have logged into the whatsapp manager go to message templates and here you can view all the list of message templates that's available if you'd like to edit you can click on that and edit the message and submit it from here as well and if you'd like to add a new template you can click on create template to add a new template as well and the process is pretty straightforward and simple similar to what we saw in whatmain platform as well that's it on this demo follow our tutorial series to understand more about whatmain platform if you'd like to sign up for a free trial please look at the link in the description and sign up for a free trial account with us thank you